they've done, but the other people are the one that hurt you. You really got to try and keep those people down also. You don't want them to have confidence. There's Malone still looking for the bucket. Howie, when they need him most. 38-35. Billy Paltz looking to Malone. Roby's on him top. They, they, they played the playoffs. That, game foul trouble, that really, really made a vast difference in the Kansas City team. Or against the late position. Moses Malone, rebound bird, and now the Celtics can tie it up, but then it's thrown away. Moses Malone has had to work hard. Still can't get the ball to drop. Here he goes again, and he still can't. Malone pushes it in. Moses Malone now with six points. And it's pulling the game the way they would like to have it go, and as a result, they're leading. Level. He's Gets a pass to Dunleavy. Oh, what a follow by Moses Malone. Take that. Final nice pass by Level. That was some pass to Moses Malone. Level, Level with a good bounce pass. Malone held off Parrish who tried to front him from the other side, and he never did go to Maxwell, but yet he left Bird just enough so the pass could be there. Bird with 10 points. Henderson alone. Oh, Roby made sure he didn't go up, and we have some angry people, in particular Moses Malone. Roby almost gave him a bear. Sixers, they had to get started just like the players did on the floor. Here is Moses Malone. Let's see if he can get involved early. That's the way to do it. Rick Maxwell, Houston with the basketball and with a five to nothing lead. Dunleavy, up to Moses Malone. Malone averaging over 28 points in the series. Last time, 13. He had 12 points in an earlier playoff series and has had as many as 42. There's Malone following. And Malone now with four points. That's a great tip in that time by Moses. Robert, two. Billy Paul's off balance. There's Malone. And he'll have a chance for a three-point play. Now has scored eight in a row. And we're 10-10 at this stage. Nice play by Moses Malone. To get in play, it's just like a missed shot. You saw a very pained man, Bill Pulse. I should say Bill Pitch had Well, he's just in the half-court game and trying to get the ball inside. In order to, to take the foot deep, he's got to play in hockey. And the puck go right between his legs. Here's Calvin Murphy over one thus far. Now over two. Moses Malone tries to follow. Great effort on his part. Free throw line. Robert Reed, he really hasn't gotten untracked in this game after that fast start in game one. Malone, you can hear Dell Harris yelling in the back. Level brings it back out, and they have a fresh 24 seconds. Beautiful pass to Willoughby. He tries another left-hander. Moses Malone. Oh, is he hammered by Rick Roby? Across the arm. Nope. Gerald Henderson. Inside five minutes left in this third period. Here's Malone against Roby. We should have bring the ball up just a little quicker. They're not walking up, they're running it up a little bit. Malone with double team action. Still able to hit it. 23 points for Moses in game two. Henderson to Moses Malone. McHale went up, but he committed the foul. He's fouling for 10 points. He had 11 points in game one. He's really come in and given this team a spark. We talked about that the Rockets have to do, move better without that ball and pass it when Moses gets double team like that. Good cut by Willoughby, good pass. Play on basketball here, the Boston Garden, Larry Bird. Moses Malone rips it down. Off to Calvin Murphy. Second team foul. Again. Boy, they have some foul difficulty. Parrish with Gale, two seconds on the shot clock, and here comes Larry Bird. Intercepted by Level. Allen Level, Bird is back. Moses Malone. Able to do without fouling. Super block. Allen level. Six. Five. Level. Two. Malone comes down with it. With a penalty in. Anybody was thinking that the Rockets weren't going to get the shot. Or at least a good shot. Five seconds on the shot clock as Bird wheels in. And over the back, one of the Boston Celtics. Execution. Execution. They, they, they would pick up one more victory on the road. That would tie that 68 Celtics team. Moses Malone. He was able to make that steal because it was a direct pass in, a bounce pass, he would have never been able to get to that ball. Involved early in the game like he did in game two, and they're going inside to him. Five Woo! seconds on the shot clock. Three, Reed, and Malone follows. And, and he really wasn't pushing him, he was just trying to get into position. Harry's fouled out of the last game, he only played 14 minutes in game two.
He only played 14 minutes in game two. Reaching in is Chris Ford. Moses Malone, there's that hook, and that's a tough shot. 18-13, 19 to go in this first period. Moses Malone, Roby on him, broken up. Malone comes away with it. Beautiful play. Timing off. But again, they've had the difficult time with the long passes. Malone. Robert Reed has checked back in. It's a run of 10 to 2 by Boston that gave them the lead. They now enjoy it. Well, this guy here hit 11 of 18 in this game. Well, I think ML Carr summed it up when he said, sometimes you know you can use the loss. It's like a slap in the face, they said to the Boston team. And they're responding. Good game, 18, 20 points for him. To, to, good credit to the Boston defense. There's Billy Paul. <laughs> Willoughby comes away with it to Malone. And 2.53 left to go, first goals, and now he's hit three from the line. Houston now trying to make the move. They have not been able to get things untracked here in the second period. Robert Reed would be one of those they'd like to get his shooting touch back. Malone just hustles. And we have a foul. Moses Malone, just an excellent effort on his part. I don't even know how he came up with a basketball. That they have, it's 14, has a chance to cut down to 12. With 13 points. Reed tried to take it into traffic. They got in trouble. Result, Boston layup on good defense. The sense expendable. Break. Except when there's a breakdown. Reed trying to stay with Larry Bird. On back. Hello, keeps it in play. ML Carr tries to go up twice with it. And it's off the roster. Five assists. But he had only five points. Here is Robert Reed. Reed in the first half hit one of seven from the field. Now one of eight. Malone there. And this Robert Parrish picks up another foul right away. Boy, is he having a difficult time against Malone. And for the Celtics, 17 for Malone. Reed into Moses. Moses again working hard. Gary. I tell you one thing, he's really old, though. Calvin called him Mr. Russell in that interview. Right I now. saw that. Hey, how about that? Moses Malone, that basket will count. Malone now with 21 points. It takes about four or five minutes to find out. What's going to happen, Willard? Really? Dunleavy off to Henderson. Moses Malone, a big power move. And that's, this is really the first major important diving competition since the Olympics. And with the skiing championship, Bill Russell will talk about that. The guys are a lot longer, and they're doing some different things. Mike Dunleavy is doing a heck of a job out there. As a return to the other end of the floor, that last foul going on Rick Roby, his second. 32 all. Malone. Moses Malone. 10 points. Houston by one. Willoughby away from Larry Bird. Off to Malone. Look at that shot. I don't think Moses practices that one too often. Boston hasn't had it yet. Moses Malone. There he gets to know what the tempo should be at the right moment. Robert Reed. Reed still not shooting all that well. Malone is there. Henderson. Off to Billy Paltz. Paltz to... Tom Henderson, seven seconds on the shot. Oh, Malone, no way to stop him when he gets in that tight. Malone, there's Parrish, and he couldn't intercept. Malone. That scratch on Billy Paltz's shoulder. He had a bruise earlier in the playoffs. And look at Kale and Paltz go after each other. Three. Malone. Even, and that may happen. Here is Moses Malone. Parrish reaching in on him. Moses. 26. It is 28 points in the end. Reed out to Henderson. Bill Willoughby as the shot clock expires. Malone and Parrish has committed the foul. Well, a good team. It's guys that play. Henderson who had nine assists in that game. He had only two points. But what a role he played. Moses Malone inside. Malone is the kind of guy, you know, everything funnels around him. Well, you know what makes him such an outstanding player? Shots in game number three, then came back to score those 28 points in game four. Reed to Malone. That basket will count. And a layup. Well, that's what Houston has to guard against. Beautiful pass by Henderson. And now, and the key to each team has got to make some turnovers. Biggest lead of the game, 20 points, 42-22. I remember that game they lost on Saturday. They trailed early in that one by 17. But Moses Malone now cuts it back to 18. Stolen by Calvin Murphy. Calvin Murphy. He's got to be well rested after sitting on the bench the entire Sunday. Robert Reed, Malone follow tips. Four points in a hurry. Game, but not two back to back, and now he's trying to do it three in a row. Malone! Don't give up. You get this far, you don't give up. They didn't make it this far by being a quitting team. Ford off to Roby. Roby, that left hand again, partially blocked by Malone. And, and, and control the defensive board, and it was usually one. You guys have
have been right a couple of times in this series. <laughs> Moses Malone. I believe he's struggling tonight. He has one point and three fouls. Not anywhere close to what he had Sunday. There's Malone with a big block. Fired up here at the Garden. 30 straight sellouts here. Better than 15,000 each time. Moses, he sent these things. I happen to get them. So, uh, came roaring back on Sunday. That's not to say they can't hear tonight. They've been counted out so often. Well, what's There's important? Malone. Moses Malone. You know, we mentioned at the top of the ship our uniforms the same. He says that's part of the biggest lead of this game. 29 points by the Boston Celtics. Now with a 77-55 lead. Partially blocked by Malone. Going to his left. Robert Reed to Tom Janovich. Moses still working hard. You can just give a guy his best with the butt. Here's Billy Pulse. Out to Mike Dunleavy. Chris Ford jumping out on him. Six seconds on the shot clock. The Boston Celtics, no backcourt. That lady, this crowd is really alive right now. Moses Malone brings it down. He got it in despite a partial block by Robert Parrish. Every time right you team. see uh, Houston getting the rebound, every time Boston gets one shot, they're into their game. And this is their game. They're utilizing it when they get down there under the basket. 11-2. Boston has outscored Houston on this last run to take this. And in that case, he did because he initiated the contest. Against the Celtics in this championship series. Henderson off to Reed. Reed against Ford now. Ford three inches shorter. Good interception. Look at Malone. Malone working the board. Uh, Reed. See, Reed is a much more disciplined player. And of course, that change coming when Reed moved out to the guard spot. Moses Malone. As Boston had a seven-point lead in the first period, and now with a seven-point advantage, Henderson Malone follows. And there are the stats thus far. 53. The Rockets much better than they've been shooting the series. If Sam Jones like that, didn't you? Yeah, players like that. Uh, there's some players when it, when it gets down that last quarter, uh, they don't mind giving up the shot. Let somebody else. Bill Willoughby. Maxwell up in his face. Rebound. Tom Henderson. Off to Moses Malone. And look at the trap. Three quarters. No, oh, no basket. 84-70. Bill Willoughby. Oh. Malone fouled. Larry Bird. The Celtics now one of seven from the field. Maxwell blocked. Gerald Henderson trying to get out of there. They've got to be horse by now. Henderson off to Calvin Garrett again. What a job he's done. Bill Willoughby. Moses Malone. A five-point difference in the game. Make 86. 